Hey everybody, how are you today? I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. So I'm excited today. Friday is going to be an, a very fun, exciting day for me. I had written an article about Louis Capaldi back in, I want to say, October. My sister and I um, were talking about this publication that she writes for every once in a while. Her and her daughter had written several articles about Taylor Swift. And they were highly popular in the publication. And it gave her an idea for me to write about Lewis. And because I'm a huge Lewis Capaldi fan, as everybody knows. And so I did. I wrote an article back in October. And my sister has two kids. She's a busy girl. So it took her a while, you know, to look it over, do any edits or anything that she had to do. Um, I sent her my article. I sent her a photo shot of Lewis at the uh, concert where I saw him in April. And then I did a headshot of me and a short bio. And we heard from the editor, and she is going to run it on her website on Friday. So I'm really excited about that. And once it is live... I will put a link to it. I will put the link to the website in my description in this video. And yeah, I'm just, I'm very, very pleased that the whole world will see how I feel about Louis Capaldi and his enormous talent, his mental health and physical struggles and how he, he just, went through the last year it was tough on him but he made it through despite everything that was going on and I just think it's a very inspiring story and even he said on a on a talk show he said I didn't know I was going to become the poster child for Tourette's syndrome and that's what he has he has Tourette's he was diagnosed pretty recently I want to say within the last two years and he's had an issue with it, um, especially during his performances, especially when he gets tired is when his tics start the most. So it's usually by the end of his concert, he is usually tired, you know, and then his tics start. And I just can't imagine that has to be so painful. I mean, and especially the way, you know, his poor head will go one way and just his shoulders will go up, and to me, it was just, it hurt my heart to see him at the end of that concert, and that's what kind of, you know, led me and Kim to think, you know, you know, he's very inspiring, you know, he has been struggling with it, but he's gotten through the last year, he got his second album out, he did um, as many concerts as he could, he did a, a long European tour, then he started his North American tour. Um, I saw him pretty early in his tour. And I was so grateful because by the end of that concert, I definitely felt like he would not be able to make it the rest of the year with the symptoms that he was having and the, the constant anxiety that he has openly talked about all of this. This is not a secret. Lewis has talked about his extreme anxiety about performing and then his Tourette's acting up and it's been tough but he made it through the year and he's been very inspiring to people and he's brought awareness to this syndrome and it's just been it's been hard on him and um, so my feelings are that you know he's inspiring to a lot of people that you can Achieve your dreams if you want to. And he is now on a long hiatus. He had to. I knew he wasn't going to make it to his Australian tour. He was supposed to be going to Australia um, at the end of the year. But, you know, once he took a three-week break before he went to Glasgow and did the Glasgow performance, he was struggling so badly with the Glasgow performance that he was devastated. And then he decided after that to take an indefinite break to concentrate on his health problems, physical and mental. And from what I've seen, he's doing very well. Um, over the past couple of months, 
I've seen pictures of him out in London, and, you know, the paparazzi are always everywhere. But he's looking good. And then um, right before New Year's Day, about two years, two days beforehand, he had written an article on his Instagram. And, man, we have been missing him because he is a big social media person. And it was so wonderful to get this message from him talking about how he feels like he's doing better, he's getting help from professionals. And then he announced that there were five songs that he recorded that did not make it onto the second album. So he announced that on New Year's Day, these five songs would be released. Oh, talk about excitement. So on that day, they came out on YouTube on his channel, and so I heard all of the songs. I absolutely loved them, and as soon as I could, I downloaded them off of iTunes, and I will be getting uh, some blank CDs in the mail tomorrow, I believe, and that way I can put all the songs from his album, including the five songs, together on the same CD, and then I can listen to it. So the man, the man's voice is just amazing. I mean, the vocal range of him is just amazing. Now, you know who he is. A lot of you may not know the name Louis Capaldi, but he sang the song, Somebody You Love. And it goes like this. I'm going under and there's something that I do, 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 do. I don't remember the words right now. This all or nothing got or something got or sleeping without you. I need somebody to know, somebody to hear, somebody to have, somebody to hold. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you numbed all the pain. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to let me through it all. I let my guard down, and then you pulled the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. It's a beautiful song. I'm sure you've all heard it. It was the number one in UK for several weeks, very number one in the US. And everybody sings it as a cover. It's such a good song. So. Once that goes live, I will put it in my community page. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.